Greetings, this is this, and I am me, and we finally entered the spooky part of the graveyard. So, let's just start exploring. Also, you guys mentioned to me, well, like, you reminded me um, that Zazer, we had seen Zazer before on one of the books on my dad's desk in the basement. So, another connection right there. Okay. Through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. This must be it! Now all I have to do is find the biggest cross. Okay. Is there just gonna be one ginormous cross somewhere? Oh, come on! There's a million crosses in there! Jenny, where are you? It's getting really creepy out here. I'm in the old part of the graveyard. Oh no! Every kid in Arthurton knew the graveyard was haunted. The ghosts of early settlers walked among the tombstones late at night, waiting to avenge their tragic deaths in the mines. A few months ago, Peggy and Veronica went up there after curfew with some boys, and they were attacked by a ghost. They were probably hallucinating from all the hairspray. They swore to me, Jenny. They wouldn't lie. Are you sure? I don't believe in ghosts, and the tall tales of a bunch of airheads won't change my mind. Even so, Jenny's skin crawled with goosebumps. Ah! Ah! We get it. Birds. It might have been her imagination, but the night suddenly seemed a lot darker. Maybe I'll, uh... Use mom's flashlight, you know, just in case. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're gonna be able to move the. F okay, 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 okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Do I have to scare the birds away? Go away. Go away, bird. Apparently, the background bird doesn't care. What about this bird? None of the birds care. Okay. Why can I move the flashlight then? I'm really scared. I wasn't scared until you told me that I could move the flashlight. But nothing is happening when I'm moving it. It's like when a game tells you to sprint and you're like, why? <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm trying to go slow because I don't want to miss anything. But I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Okay. I guess we're climbing now. Do, 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 do. Oh, well. <laughs> That's a hand. Jenny, you don't you don't care about the hand? Okay. Like I know it's just a statue, but still it's real creepy looking. Okay. <laughs> My flashlight hasn't detected anything so far. <gasps> oh my god, that, that legitimately scared me. Jenny, no! Not now, not now! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. This happens to literally every single flashlight that has ever been in existence, right? It's dead. Okay, never mind. Unable to see more than a few inches ahead, our trembling adventurer had no choice but to edge forward. Very slowly. What, but then I did- I, did I miss something with the flashlight? I didn't get to use it for anything. Okay. It's fine. I don't need a flashlight. I'm just not gonna fall again. You know. A lantern. Perfect. Oh great, there's a light over here. Yeah, and, and that noise, too. What is that? It's coming from the open grave. It's CJ. Oh, no. It's just some man that works at the graveyard. Don't hit me. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You're not a ghost. I want- I don't know why I want to give like literally every single male extra character in this game 
um, a southern accent, but I do. I won't, though, because I've already given it to a lot of people that we've passed by. <laughs> so, um... But I mean, look at his- he's got like a button down on and a beard. <sighs> oh, I want to- I want to do it, but I'm not going to. Not to say you can't have a button down shirt on and a beard and literally sound like absolutely anybody at all. You can. <laughs> um, hmm, his voice, his voice, his voice. It's just that that's like the only voice I can do <laughs> that's like would still be um, from around here, probably? Like, I could give him a voice from another country. But then he has to have a backstory of how he's gonna fit in, you know? Like, why is he here? If he's Russian, why is he working at this graveyard, you know? <laughs> so, fine, I'll just give him a basic, normal voice. Y you scared the life out of me! Um, sorry? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize anyone else was here. Oh, that's okay. This place is terrifying in the dark. I really need to stop working nights. What are you doing out here after curfew? Mm, I don't know if I can trust this guy. Um, Master of Manipulation? <laughs> I was here visiting my dad. I guess the time got away from me. Good, Jenny. That's, that is based off of a truth. Very good, very good. You're, you're the LeClue girl, aren't you? Uh, well... Your poor old man. What a horrible way to die. Yeah, I don't really like to talk about it. Blown into a thousand pieces. What a way to go. No chance to say goodbye. Boom. Gone. Just like that. An absolute tragedy. And the pain. Can you imagine? Nothing left of him. Hardly seemed worth digging the hole. Oh my god. Okay, Matt. You just dug yourself a hole, yeah. Well, you're digging a big hole right now. Yes, ma'am. Regulation size, six feet, not an inch less. The name's Matt. The second T is silent. Sure sounds like an interesting job, Matt. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions about it? Of course. I'm just happy for the company. He seems harmless enough. I just need to be sure he's not working for the man in black. Okay, well, I officially hate him, so... The interrogation of Matt the Gravedigger. Your hat. Very suspicious. I mean, the blood on your hat. Or maybe dirt. Blood? <laughs> Is that blood? Blood? Where? It's all over your clothes and your shovel. Oh, that. That's good old Arthurton red clay. Impossible to wash out. One of the hazards of the job. Why are you digging a grave in the middle of the night? Well, they have to go somewhere. The bones. The what? It's the problem with building a graveyard on top of an old mine. Ground's always shifting. Before you know it, bones are sticking out all over the place. We have to rebury them. It's bad for business. That's terrible. Could be worse. C could be dead, like all these poor souls. Miss Smith over there? Bitten by a badger. Wouldn't want to go that way. Right there is Mr. McCar McCarthy. Set himself on fire baking biscuits. And there's your dad, of course. <laughs> your poor dead dad. Dead. Are you finished? Okay, okay, okay. I went from thinking he was being a jerk to thinking he knows something. I think he's in cahoots. I think he knows my dad's not dead. Oh, sorry. There I go again, talking about the dead. He knows everything about this place. Yeah, and everything about my not-dead dad. He's in cahoots, guys. He is in... Cahoots. Anything about his eyebrows? No. Okay. Ooh. What? Where? What do you want from me? This? His name tag with a second silent T? Ah. Somebody else's name tag. Owen T. Imposter? Oh, was I supposed to hold that and not tap it? Sorry. <laughs> you told me her name was Matt. 
I it is. Isn't it? Well then, who is Owen and why are you wearing his shirt? Oh, darn it, it's fallen off again. Owen was the old groundskeeper. He died digging a grave. Turned out to be his own. Budge cuts. Budget cuts. Budge cuts? <laughs> You're wearing a dead man's shirt? It seemed a shame to waste it. He, he didn't need it anymore. My god, this man. Okay. What else? Your gloves. Okay. Doobity doobity doo. Has he seen the man in black? Have you seen anyone suspicious lurking around tonight? Oh, well, there was this one girl. A girl? She scared the life out of me. Really made me jump. Oh, wait. No, that was you, wasn't it? You'll have to forgive me. My memory isn't what it used to be. You're not that old, dude. Okay. Aha, something in his pocket. Always check the pockets. Wait, am I, am I like, okay, I was honed in on it. Interesting. Very suspicious. Okay. Bellis Perennius, aka the common daisy. Purpose? Unknown. Why do you have a flower in your pocket? I always keep one in there just in case of an emergency. I added a lot more words into that sentence. People like to leave them by the graves as a tribute. Uh, you should take it. For your dad. Uh, don't take it? No thanks. You keep it. It's his emergency flower. I don't know. I don't know. Should I have taken it? That was kind of a weird one. I didn't know if I should have taken it or not. I'm not trying to disrespect my possibly dead father, but it seems suspicious. What if it was poisoned? What if he's trying to kill me? Okay, a patched up boot. Oh no, something stuck to his foot. Paper? A note from the man in black? What's that stuck to your boot? Oh, the no. Could have come from anywhere. Mm-hmm. Beyond the fallen angel. Um, what now? Under the crumbling arches? Uh, you've lost me. The entrance is buried there. Does that mean anything to you? Oh! Is this a poem? I love poems. Do you want to hear one of mine? No. I'm good, thanks. Hmm. Okay, I've got one more clue. Oh, it's the stuff that's standing next to him. Standing next to stuff that he's standing next to. Where's the biggest cross? There sure are a lot of people buried here. Well, if they keep dying, we'll keep burying them. Do you know which of these graves has the biggest cross on it? <laughs> now there's one I've never heard before. Biggest cross. No, I uh, can't say I do. They've all got the same sized cross, I'd say. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you have any idea how I could find it? You know, you might want to look at that statue up there. It has a list of all the famous miners buried here. It might help you find what you're looking for. Famous miners? Interesting. I think it's safe to say he doesn't know anything about the man in black. Well, thanks, Matt. It's been good to chat. But uh, you won't tell anyone you saw me here after curfew, will you? My granddad wouldn't be very happy with me. Say who? Uh, I didn't see anyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a statue to investigate. Oh, no, you can't go up there now. It's far too dangerous. I'll be fine, thanks. Absolutely not. If you slipped and fell, I couldn't have that on my conscience. Come back tomorrow during the day. I'll give you a guided tour. Darn. I'll have to find another way to get up there. Oh, now the flashlight works? Really? Okay, so I can't go past him. I don't trust him. I don't trust him further than I could throw him. And guess what? I couldn't throw him far at all. Look at my arms. <sighs> I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Can I still move? I can. Okay, wait. Let me move the flashlight around back here then. Just want to be thorough. Just want to be thorough. I can't just walk past him. Right, no, we're going to blind him! It didn't work. Okay. Well then. I'm sure we'll find an alternate path somewhere. It's a lot less scary here now. 
Can I go that way? That looks like a path. I can't just walk past him, he'll see me. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. I need to find another way around. Sorry, I didn't even realize that those words were there. So, yeah, that's not a way that I can go? Really? <sighs> okay. Fine then, climbing up. And yep. Okay. Uh huh. Hello? Hello? What? <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Inspect tree. Much like those buried in the graveyard, this tree had died a long time ago. Be careful, Mr. Crow. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. Uh-huh. Exactly. Looks like it could fall over at any moment. So can't I push it over or something? Okay, this is the scary place where all the birds scare me. Because they're birds. And everyone has seen birds at this point, right? I have to do something with the tree, right? Scare all the crows so that they all land on the tree. And then knock it over. Yeah? There's nothing else over this way. Ooh, I can run. Good. Okay, well then I'm gonna run back. Oh, well, maybe if I run, I'll scare the birds. Okay, yeah, because there's nothing else this way, right? Okay, I don't think there was anything. Let's move our flashlight mid-level. Let's just run. I found nothing. There we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Still didn't fall? Really? Interesting. Okay, so I have to get more birds. More, more, more! We want more, we want more! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! And we want more! 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 You would think some of them would have landed on the other side of the tree, but no. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Now Jenny's gonna be able to just waltz on up it like it's a ramp. Another case cracked. Good, okay. Did the birds... leave anything behind? Like a scrap or a sticker or anything? I guess not. Okay. Up we go. And off to the races. I'm going places. Might be a long shot. Not. Ooh, 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 the vines, the vines, the vines. Sorry, I thought I had to follow the branches. This is my big break. And it's calling my name. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to have the flashlight on you for any reason? No, no, okay. There's like actual dead bodies that are just sticking out of the ground around you, Jenny. How does that make you feel? I mean, I guess you've already experienced a dead body. Ah. Ooh, he's gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Mr. McCarthy, how did you get down here? Shh, Jenny. Be careful. Wait, Jenny? Where'd Jenny go? Jenny? <laughs> Must have been the wind. Jenny? Je oh, hello. That was close. Hopefully this statue can help me find the biggest cross. In honor of the brave miners buried here who gave their lives so that Arthurton might thrive. Okay, one clue? Well, there's a sticker right here. In memoriam, Chilton. They light the light they carried shall never be extinguished. Oh, sorry, Chilton Bush. They fed empty bellies with the finest gruel. Okay. 
There's only one clue, but I can click on multiple things. And once I've clicked on the clue, they're not going to let me click on anything else, right? Okay, I think that's the one because it says cross. So <laughs> let me just click on this. It's a tribute to some of the families who worked in the mines. Oh, those are two different families. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's click on this. Jenny had heard the tragic tale of the of a catastrophic cave-in that closed the mines under Arthurton. Everyone blamed the miners for ignoring safety procedures. Most were crushed instantly by the fallen, falling rocks. Others had not been so fortunate, trapped with no water, no food, no light. They were condemned to a slow and painful death. That's horrible. Um, okay. Memory of Duff, Masters of Metal, Blum. They mapped the path to progress. Okay. Hmm. Nothing about graves or crosses here. Is this the biggest cross? In memoriam, cross. Carvers of tunnel rock, unmatched in strength and size. Rust, as quick with a pickaxe as they were with a joke. Cross! Carvers of tunnel rock, unmatched in strength and size. Jenny read the words to herself again. Strength and size? Look for the biggest cross. They didn't mean a cross on a grave. They meant a cross in a grave. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So we're good here, right? They were going to let me look at the other stuff. The cross family must be buried in the graveyard below. I've got to work out who was the biggest. Find the grave. Find the secret passage to the jail. Save mom. Boy, I really hope I don't have to dig them up and measure them. I'm sure it'll say it. It'll be like, oh, like, you know, Big Billy or something. <laughs> Journal updated. Where is the tallest cross? Okay. Anything this way? Oh my! No! No, I wanted to check. Great. I didn't know I was actually legitimately going to be able to drop down here. I thought she was going to teeter off the edge, you know, as I always do. Man, ow, Jenny. Okay, anything this way? A vine path down this- ooh. Hello? What? I don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. Guys, help me out. What am I supposed to be seeing? There's nothing. There's nothing. Oh, you're gonna drive me crazy. I know there's a secret in here, but where? I can't go any further. It's only when I'm back here that they will let me search. But the search thing only works if you find the jingly jingle. And I haven't found the jingly jingle. Ooh! Okay. Isn't that just me? Ooh! Yay! Okay, I got a scrap. Can't go any further that way. So yeah, do I climb down there or do I go down this rope? I feel like the rope is either the dangerous path and she's going to say, yeah, don't do that, or, uh, oh, okay, you can't. Good, 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 good. But there is something weird over on the other side. Okay. Do, 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 blah, blah, da, da, da. Stop by here. What have we got? Piece of a coffin. Yay! Sticker! A crow. Okay. I'm building up some stickers. Gonna have to... <laughs> gonna have to stick those in my journal soon. Nothing with the skull. Okay, keep going. Let's go... Here first? Because this... Seems... Like a dead end, maybe? Search graves. It's not a dead end. Blah, 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 blah. Any of these crosses? 
Nope, nope, nope. Yep, yep, yep. Karina Cross. Aha! Karina Cross. Okay. I was taller than France. What an odd epitaph. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this weird family made all of their gravestones be riddles about their height compared to the rest of the family members? I don't know. That doesn't seem right. I don't think any of these people are even real at this point. Okay, well this seems like a much longer path, so maybe I should have gone the other way first. I hate not knowing which way I'm supposed to go, but I especially hate it when all of the paths are really long and you have to move really slow, like this, right now. If I, if I was running, it would be not as bad, but because the punishment for not going the right way I know I make it look easy, but I'm hanging on for dear life here. <laughs> um, it's very punishing if you go the wrong way. And I think that's annoying. Okay, then let's search these graves. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. None of these, none of these. Aha, okay. Casper Cross. Found one. Casper Cross. What have you got to say for yourself? I was taller than Helga. Seems the Cross family had quite the rivalry. Okay. Well... Maybe they'll all loop back around. He was taller than Helga. This is a dead end. Very dangerous. Search graves. No! Ooh, I can actually go back up on this one. Thank you. Um, okay. That ladder down there looks like it's from Psychonauts. Searching, searching, searching. Nothing. Hmm, no cross buried here. The search continues. Okay, good. So we've got Karina taller than Franz, and we've got Casper taller than Helga. I can't use that ladder. Okay. Okay, we keep going. And yeet! Okay. Any of you guys? There's only three over here. Helga! I see you, Helga. Helga Cross. We already know you're not the biggest, because Casper's taller than you. Here's one. Helga Cross. I was taller than Karina. Okay, so Karina is taller than Franz, but Helga is taller than Karina, and Casper is taller than Helga. So, so far, we know Casper as the tallest. Okay. Everybody, everybody keeping that straight? Casper is the tallest so far. Um, okay. Before I go down, I want to go over, because I want to see if maybe I loop back up to where the vines were. Hello? Okay, none here. I see a Cooper, Chapman, and Cole, but no cross. Okay. Are these- the people in this graveyard buried alphabetically? <laughs> Yeet! Okay. Yeet! Okay, I think these are the vines from before. Okay, here. No, okay, well, yeah, we can do this first. But then I'm going to do the magnifying glass thing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. Franz Cross. Okay, we don't care about Franz. Franz is short. Hello, Franz Cross. Okay, I'll get to you in a second. I just need to get, I think, a scrap. Yes. Okay. We should have almost enough to make our next postcard soon, I'd say. I was taller than Ivan. Okay. There can't be many more crosses to find. Where haven't I looked yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fine, it's fine. I got it, I got it, I got it. So, I just want to see if this matches up with the place I already searched. Did it? I think it is. Um. 
Um, who, who, yeah, 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 I recognize all that. Okay. So now it's just down that ladder. I don't know. I, I think it's Casper, unless someone else says I was taller than Casper, which that definitely could be the case. The furthest down grave they put is I was taller than Casper. And then we just boom. Now we're right then and there. Um, this way. Yeet. Yeet. Are we sure there's not a cross over there? No, it's just vines and, um, barricade. Okay. Jenny, I don't know what is up with this graveyard. I don't know why it's built literally on the side of a cliff. But, you know, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job of navigating it. Okay. Yeah. You're not a grave I can check? Okay. Can I go up there? No. <laughs> I really hope my next adventure relies less on the structural integrity of old plant roots. Yeah. Don't we all, Jenny? Don't we all? Okay. Let me search. Let me search. None of them say cross that I can see. Okay, nothing. I'm going cross-eyed looking for crosses, but there aren't any here. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> Sometimes it still gets you, you know? Surely the last cross is here, right? Surely, surely, surely. Yeet. Okay. Just have to check, you know? Just have to check. Cross, 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 cross. You have to be here. Okay. Ivan Cross. Here's another one. Ivan Cross. How tall were you? Casper is a little liar. Ivan wasn't pulling any punches. Oh, crud. After an exhaustive search of the graveyard, Jenny had found all of the graves marked cross. Now I just need to work out who was the tallest. Okay, who was the tallest cross? So Casper's a liar. What had, what had Casper said? I was taller than Helga. So Casper's not taller than Helga. So... Is Helga the tallest then? <laughs> Ivan just said that Casper's a liar. But Helga's all like, oh yeah, dude, I was taller than Karina. And Karina's like, I was taller than Franz. And Franz is like, I was taller than Ivan. So Ivan clearly isn't tall. And Casper saying he was taller than Helga. I guess it's it must be Helga. Ivan, Franz, Karina, Helga. Lying. <laughs> If Casper was lying, then Helga must be the tallest, which means Helga's grave is hiding the secret passageway to the jail. Solved. Okay. I don't remember where her... Okay. Is that where her grave is? Okay. Achievement unlocked. Such great heights. Did we just save? Can the achievement get out of the way so I can see? Saved just now. Okay. <sighs> Well, then we're going to wait. We're going to wait to open up the grave or whatever we're going to do with it. I don't know. Push a button next time. Um, but hopefully then we'll be in the jail. I don't know. Aren't we going to have to walk in some sort of underground scary tunnel or something? And we're going to get caved in and then we're going to die and we're going to be buried here in one of these graves. And then reburied later when the ground shifts and our bones stick up out of the ground. I, that just seems like the future progression. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll do all that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and helping. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye now.